I haven't slept, I usually feel like I am just dehydrated. I really like starting the day with a glass of cold water because it helps wake me up. It's really refreshing. Time to wash my face. This is the Tata Harper Regenerating Cleanser that I really love. It's exfoliating and it also smells like citrus. It's really, really gentle. I feel like it's hydrating, but cleansing at the same time. It's really just a nice balance. Next up, serum. This is the Glossier Pure Serum, and I apply this directly onto my face from the dropper. This is really awesome for breakouts, any kind of redness when your skin is feeling tired. It is a niacinamide and zinc serum, so it absorbs really quickly. And I find that it really helps reduce redness and refreshes my skin. And now my absolute must have. This is the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream and I've been using this eye cream for years. I really love it and it's one of my favorites, which is a big thing because I don't love very many eye creams. Thank you so much to Origins for sponsoring this video. It's really awesome because I've been a fan of this for so long. It really helps to brighten and depuff your eyes. It's really cooling and energizing because it has caffeine in it and it also has brighteners in it. So if you look at the eye cream, it's kind of like this light pink color. So when you put it underneath your eyes, it instantly brightens your eyes and depuffs them. It helps with any kind of darkness or bags that you have, and it just feels amazing. I will put this on so you can see. Put a little bit on my ring finger, and I kind of just divide it between my two eyes, and then I pat it in. And you can see that it just instantly brightens up my eye area. I'll actually wipe this side off so you can see what it looks like before. So this is with the eye cream on and this is with nothing. So it definitely brightens it up and just catches the light in a really nice way. And I personally think that this eye cream allows me to just wear less makeup because it's hydrating and it's also brightening my eyes at the same time, which is great news for me because the last thing I wanna do when I'm tired is put on a heavy concealer underneath my eyes. I feel like it just accentuates everything more and makes me feel really weighed down. Time to moisturize. This is my favorite moisturizer right now. It is the Belief Aqua Balm. It looks like this. It's a really bouncy gel consistency and it's super hydrating, but doesn't feel greasy. So I just take a little bit on my finger like that and then put it on my skin. And it is so refreshing. It almost feels like you're putting on a moisturizing face mask. It really creates an instant glow on your face without any kind of shimmer. Gotta have my sunscreen. This is the Glossier sunscreen, which is awesome because it's clear and it's really light. It's SPF 35. I like using it as just a really simple light sunscreen. Last but not least, some face mist. This is the Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water Face Mist that I tried in travel size and loved so much I got the full size. I'm just gonna finish this off by spraying my face. And it really just helps refresh my skin and also helps wake me up because putting on face mist kind of startles me every time I do it. You'll see by my face. My face probably looks like I'm not enjoying it, but it feels really good. I just make that face every time. I don't know why. All right, now it's time for makeup. But first, coffee. If I'm really tired and I haven't slept, my skin tends to reject makeup. This is something that I've learned over the years. When I'm feeling really exhausted, I try to keep my makeup lighter and focus on brightening, protecting, and hydrating my skin. Instead of trying to cover things up, I'm trying to make everything feel a little bit better. Starting with eye primer. Surprise, NARS eye primer. Back at it again. If you follow me on Instagram stories, then you may have seen what happens when I don't use this primer. 
On top of that, some cream eyeshadow. This is Max Indian Wood Paint Pot, which is a really pretty brown gold color. And I'm just gonna put this on my lids a little tiny bit. I don't want too much. It has just the right amount of shimmer in it so it catches the light. I also feel like it creates a little bit of depth. Following up with an inner corner highlight. So I wanted to use a different brush, but I can't find it. So I'm using an angled eyeliner brush for this. By the way, this is Max Rice Paper. I'm just putting a little bit of this on the inner corner of my eyes to help brighten them up a little bit. And I really like rice paper because I feel like it looks natural. It's a nothing super, super shimmery. On my face, I'm starting with a little primer. This is Benefit's Porefessional. I like this primer because it's really nice for a base for your makeup. It just kind of blurs your pores. And I also like that it's a little bit more hydrating without making your skin feel greasy. A lot of times primers that help with your pores are really mattifying and drying. And that is the exact opposite of what I want right now. This is really perfect, especially for days when I'm tired. I also like to press it in into the areas where my pores are a little bit bigger. Using some tinted moisturizer today because my skin just cannot handle any kind of foundation right now. This is the Origins Ginseng SPF 40 Energizing Booster Tinted Moisturizer. And this is a new product from Origins that I have really been loving. I'm a huge fan of tinted moisturizer, but I especially love it on days like today when my skin just full on rejects foundation. If I just put a little bit on my hand like that. You can see that it starts off with no color and and it just kind of blends in as you put it on your skin, which I really like because it makes it a great tinted moisturizer for summer, especially as your skin tends to change in the summer. I just apply this with my hands and it smells really good. The smell is super refreshing and energizing. It has a nice citrusy orange scent to it. It nicely covers your skin without feeling like you have makeup caked on your face. So it just kind of blurs over everything with a nice sheer tint. And it's also really hydrating. I can feel the extra moisture just going into my skin and I love it. And there's SPF in it, which is always a plus. I'm using a little bit more underneath my eyes because I'm not gonna use any kind of concealer. We're all human and we all have days where we're tired. I'd rather feel good than feel like I have to cake on a bunch of stuff. I've seriously been loving this, especially with all the traveling that I've been doing recently. If you're interested in trying this out, I'll have a link down below for you guys. And if you wanna try some other products from the Ginseng line, you can use the code Ingrid at checkout and you'll get a free duo of a couple other products from the Ginseng line. And one of them, the Scrub Cleanser, is one of my all-time favorites. Cool! Gonna put a little bit of blush on my cheeks. This is the Glossier Cloud Paint in Beam. This, so far, is my favorite shade. I really, really love it. And I actually really love mixing it with the other colors too. So it's a really pretty peach color. I put it on one finger. I kind of tap it onto the other finger. I have the perfect amount for each cheek. I'm going to start with this one, tap it on with my finger and blend it in. And I love these. They're not drying. They're not greasy and they're really easy to blend. And you don't need that much product either. The color is just so beautiful. I officially have all the shades now because I'm obsessed with the cloud paints. One of the best things that Glossier makes. I'm gonna set everything with a little bit of powder. This is the Bare Minerals Matte Powder and it has no color to it and I'm using just the tiniest amount kind of right in the center of my face and on my eyebrows too because I feel like it helps when I fill in my brows. Time to fill in the brows. This is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Brow Pencil. I like it because it has a brush on one side, pencil on the other side. I'm just filling in the sparse areas. Still grown out dumb brows. It's almost been a year. I can't believe it. A little brow gel to hold everything in place. This is Glossier Boy Brow and I'm just combing this through my brows a little bit. I like to back comb them ever so slightly. So the front ones kind of stick up a little bit. I just comb through the rest. Time to curl the lashes. I 
After that, a little bit of waterproof mascara. This is CoverGirl's Plumpify Mascara, which I've talked about so much. I'm just gonna say that and assume that you know that I really love it. Finishing everything off with a little bit of lip cream. This is one of the new Fresh Sugar Cream Lip Treatments. It's the color Gilt. I love these because they come in a tube and they're really hydrating and you get a really nice sheer glowy color. Gilt is one of my favorites. I've been using it a ton. I also feel like there have been so many matte lip products over the years that it's nice to just have a little bit of shimmer. All right, that's it. Keeping it really comfy with jeans and a t-shirt. I'm gonna go change. All right, time to get this show on the road, literally.